All right, today we're going to talk about moving your Steam games over to uh, Windows 8. Uh, whether or not you want to do that, that's your decision. Uh, we're not saying that all games run. We're not saying anything. Uh, we haven't seen any problems in what we've read. Uh, no problems whatsoever. So let's click on the uh, desktop. Now let's say we're in our Windows 7 installation. This is a Windows 7 and you already have Steam installed. And you've been playing it for years or whatever. Uh, a couple things you want to do before moving your account. First of all, you say, you go over to Steam and you go to Settings. And you want to make sure, first of all, you have access to this contact email, that you know the password to get into this contact email address. It's not necessarily the same as your account name up here. That's your original name when you signed up for Steam. And it could be the same if you used that email address and you're still using it. But if you've changed email over the years, it has a new contact. You need to make sure that you can go log into that account because they're going to send you a confirmation email during this process. Uh, you can also make sure you know your Steam password. Now you can make sure you can do that by changing it right here and now. You click here and you say, I want to change my password. And you go through this, the steps there to change your password and get a new password. So the two things you need to have is access to this email and the password for that email. And you also need the uh, change password or secret question. If you no longer have access to this contact email, by the way, you can change it right here as well. So uh, again, need to have access to that and need to know your password. Okay, now that uh, we have all the preliminaries done about having access to all your accounts, let's go look at what, how Steam is installed. So the first thing we're going to go do is we're going to look at the hard drives on the system. Now, this assumes that you have uh, access to your old Steam installation. Either you have the old hard drive or it's uh, maybe on a USB stick, you copied everything to a USB stick, which we'll go through. You can do any of those. In this particular case, this system is a dual boot Windows 7 and Windows 8. Here's the Windows 7 installation, which used to be the C drive under Windows 7, and here's the new Windows SSD. So Steam installs its directories, its entire programs underneath Program Files, Steam, and you'll see it all here. Okay. As a matter of fact, we can go look at uh, all the information about the Steam installation and how to move it. By the way, the official list of the steps taken is to go to steampower.com and then go in here and search for uh, under support and then search for moving Steam. And you'll get this article, Moving the Steam Installation in Games. And it tells you, first thing, it installs a by default to C program file Steam and all your storage of all your games to see program files, Steam, Steam apps. So that's what we're looking at over here. When we go to this one, you'll see that we're, this used to be the C drive under Windows 7, program file, Steam, and here they all are. So what do we want to do? We want to move this uh, installation somewhere else. There's two different reasons to do that. One is that this hard drive is, is okay. It's huge, okay? But let's say you weren't it didn't have that. You only had your little small uh, SSD or something that was somewhere in between, but you wanted to put all your games in this larger hard drive, uh, that regardless of whether you're moving to Windows 8. You want to follow the steps here at uh, Steam steampower.com to do all that. By the way, number one is back up all your games using their backup facility, which uh, we entirely recommend. Okay, But that being said, let's say you've done all that. Now they want you to Exit the Steam application, and that's the little application that runs that you have all, has all your games. Okay. Then it says here, browse to the Steam installation for the Steam you'd like to move. That's Program File Steam by default. Okay. So again, we're talking about going to the one you want to move from. So that'd be Windows, your Windows 7 directory, whether it's on a, another hard drive, whatever. Program Files, and you go to Steam. And that's where everything's at. The next thing it tells you to do, it says, delete all the files except Steam Apps folder and Steam EXE. Now, this is very important. That's the Steam Apps directory. And this is Steam EXE, the application. So you want to delete all those. So let's do a Control A and highlight all those. And then we'll scroll down here a little bit. Hit the Control key and then click on Steam Apps to deselect it. That's why it's turned white. We'll go down here to Steam and deselect that. And now you'll see that those two things are not selected for deletion. Okay, we, we press the delete key and it warns us. Whether it's Windows 7 or Windows 8, it tells you to do all that. So we're going to say yes, delete all that stuff. And boom, it's all gone. So what we have left is Steam and the Steam Apps directory, and that's it. 
The next step to do is, it says here, cut and paste the whole Steam folder to a new one, DE Games, for example. But what we did is that we created a different directory. We created a directory just called Games on another drive, E drive. It doesn't have to be on your, your installation drive. So in this particular case, Games, Steam. Now, everything's already here because we finished the installation, but all we did is we moved, we copied all these over to an empty directory called Games Steam. Remember, if this is your, since this directory contains all your games, there's a large amount of files that take quite a bit of time to move it all over and everything. Now, if it's on the same hard drive as in all Windows applications, a default drag will say move. For example, if we grab here, you see how it says move to. Okay, if you press the control key, it says copy. Okay, move or copy. We highly recommend, you know, you never know about a power outage, but you always copy, even if it's on the same hard drive. Uh, if something goes wrong, you run out of space, whatever, you can always delete where the destination and come back here and redo it differently uh, after you've either, uh, whatever happens, you know, you know, the power could go out, who knows. So you want to copy all that to your new games directory. That's the, that's the whole idea here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to uh, run Steam. Now, once your new directory, the games directory, okay, looks like, and here it has it all, but it'll look like this. It was just Steam apps and Steam directory. Once your new directory has that, you're going to want to run Steam EXE from here. Make sure you don't, uh, they don't, not clear about this. It's launch Steam along into your account. Uh, make sure uh, we're not talking about if going to their website and say install Steam from there. Don't do that launch Steam from your games new games directory, okay, where, where you see only these files, all your Steam applications and Steam EXE. It will run the installation process for Steam, which we're going to skip in the middle of this. Once you run your Steam installation, you'll get a, uh, when you try to run Steam, you'll actually come up and say something's changed and you need to put a code in. And what you're going to get is you're going to get from Steam, you're going to get something that looks like this. And it says, we received a request to access your Steam account from a new computer or web browser. The purpose there is that it, even if it's on the same computer but a different installation, it just doesn't recognize that because you've blown away all that stuff and it wants to redo all that. So it's going to give you a code that you need to copy and paste into the Steam dialog box. So once you do that, it will finish the installation. Uh, It'll run and install everything here. It'll go through all that. Now, is that the end of your installation worries and all that? No. Uh, once you're done with that, if you run all your Steam, you haven't uh, uh, copied all your save games, you're not going to have a lot of your same games.